And I think we're ready to go and explore Skopje. Yes, baby, let's do it. <laughs> you, know, you inevitably shut yourself off a little bit rather than engage with people. You become more cynical and you just try and avoid that contact. And that's wrong. We're so many glasses in. <laughs> we're using the term nose. <laughs> Just another night in the life of our life. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through Eastern Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. to squint but right on the hill there is one of the tallest crosses in the world if not the it's taller than the uh, Christ to Redeemer in Rio so, quick coffee before we we have actually quite a stiff walk it's three kilometers through the park here to get to sort of the center we want to explore but it's 9 30 so we good at least the parking here worked out much much better than we expected when you come into cities you always expect the worst from parking <laughs> But this one doesn't look too, too bad, bad at all, and it even turns out to be free at the moment, so bonus. Yo. The disadvantage of stopping on the outskirts is that we have about a three kilometer walk, but it's such a nice park here. It's beautiful. If we don't get robbed, or van doesn't get stolen or broken <laughs> into, and we decide to stay over here, we might just go for a jog in this park tomorrow morning. The sun's out. Yay! <laughs> so we're very positive. That's where we want to be. Show yes. me the food. Okay, okay, okay. We're going I for food. I see kale. <laughs> you want say? some kale for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> hungry, 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 hungry. And if you don't know, why we're joking is the word kale, or ale, I'm not sure ale. how they pronounce it, means castle. Now we are approaching Macedonia Square. And I think this is King Philip here behind us. And then on that side is the statue of Alexander the Great. This is the old stone bridge. It was built in the 12th or 13th century, and it's been destroyed and rebuilt quite a number of times. What makes Skopje rather interesting is that it went through this rejuvenation phase in 2014, where quite a lot of money was spent to rebuild buildings, build new buildings, create statues so there's a large large number and variety of statues all over the show it's a bit of a <laughs> mishmash of things but it's got apparently quite an interesting character it was a bit controversial now you can see the shiny buildings oh there's a hawk bomb we should go get some i know cash. that's what we're looking for uh but first we're gonna find some food there's still a lot of construction happening here interesting how they create this old style and sort of mixing it up with modern buildings i think it's really quite cool that is a serious statue <laughs> yeah wow. we're gonna venture into this bizarre region ice cream for breakfast it's not like i'm against ice cream for breakfast Ooh, i can start the day with that ice cream oh, God. sorry love lots more jewelry than the snacks it reminds me a little bit of when we were in <laughs> dubai for the very first time mm -hmm. yeah it's not just the gold it's such yellow gold amazing Hmm. Should we get some gold? Ooh, this is my gold. Oh gosh, look at this. I get the centerpiece. Ooh, cheers. This is just such a winner. Mm. It's fresh. Mm. A little bit chewy, a little bit crunchy. And that's what it looks like. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Yummy. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I guess my better judgment. Lisa's eating again. This is salad. Salad's healthy. Okay, we have some koftas, we have some chippies, we have some, I don't know what that is. Vegetables, some rice. Pizzas, vegetables, scripture salad. It's quite a lot of food. <laughs> eat, damn it, eat. Not sure what to expect uh, going into this area. Let's check it out. Yo, this More is like what it. we want. Look at these cool, are they peppers? Everything's super spicy, do you think? Yes. That's some chili flake. What do you yes. think this one is? Okay, what are we buying? <sighs> There's uh, lots of cheese. What are you buying? Lisa? Some sausages. Sausages. Oh, can I have a pink sausage? Huh? Mm -hmm. We were watching a video of some people who were here maybe a year ago. And it seems so intensely chaotic. And, you know, you always come into places like this, and it's just a hustle and a bustle and chaos. And, you know, but to be honest, it's actually pretty relaxed here. People mm -hmm. are and having chats with us. People are super friendly and not just trying to tell you something. No. They just have a chat. Very nice. Oh, this is a cool market. Look at this. But frantic and as you expect on the outskirts of this fresh market is uh, everything else for sale. From Gucci handbags to you know, so you can knit your own shoes. But we gotta find something else to eat. No idea where we are. Definitely need something else to oh, eat. Oh, we need money. We need cash. Okay, we haven't tried these guys yet. It's from Mexica. Mexica. No. It looks really nice. It's fresh, fresh. Ooh, you know, be good in this. Strawberry jam. <laughs> With cheese. <laughs> oh, uh, Not healthy, though. Mm. Try. Is it warm still? Yes. Yes, it was just made. Oh. Mm. Freshly fried dough. Oh, you can't go wrong. wrong. Mm, it's like a really good donut. Yum. She grows. Grass alligators. Come here, we're in. Let's go around. Oh, here yeah, you might can't see, see you. Ooh. There's not much left uh, of the castle itself. You can stroll around. You've got a nice view. Uh, you can walk all along this wall here. We've got a nice little walkway. Oh, nice. So which will give you views all around the city. Oh my gosh. This way, darling. Is that the boss? Show me the way. Okay. <laughs> Let's make it the lions. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, it is pretty. It's quite nice. Is that the kale dance? <laughs> <laughs> it's kale. It's kale and my ale. It's kale, baby. Ale with kale. It's kale. Ooh. Where are you? I can't make it. I'm here. <laughs> Do you seem like the only people up on the castle area are tourists, like us? <laughs> and some, I don't know, beggars, I guess. Yeah. It's quite tough when you travel like this. It's People think you're privileged, and of course we are. But the truth is, we, we can't be responsible for every single person asking us for money or for help. It's, it's just not practical or possible. And... You know, you inevitably shut yourself off a little bit rather than engage with people. You become more cynical and you just try and avoid that contact. And that's wrong. You know, I remember, I remember. many occasions where we in random places in the world, once in Jakarta and Indonesia. Oh, let's go there. You know, you look at the guy who comes sitting on the bench next to you and he looks homeless. But he strikes up conversation, he offers you some of his food and he tells you an engaging story and he wishes you well. This is the thing, 80% of the time, I think we judge it fairly well and we know when somebody is just trying to either beg from you or talk you into something. But there's that 20% where you don't judge it right and you can be surprised by a wonderful encounter. So you can't just close yourself off from it no. completely, but you also can't give to every single person who asks. No, it's not it's possible. It's just not feasible. Oops. Seeing that we uh, don't enjoy the ice cream, Lisa just decided she'll taste every single dessert that North Macedonia has to offer. So this is um, like a creme brulee in Turkish style. This I think is a trileche. That's a trileche, yes. This one... She Shekerpare. Yes. Okay. That's a Turkish dessert. This guy. And this one is the Ravanya. Alright, and where's your uh, instant shot? <laughs> Oh, 
So that was Skopje. And that was North Macedonia. Pretty much North Macedonia. Uh, I think what we're going to do is not summarize too much of our experience. We're going to try and do a separate video at a later point. Telling you exactly how well suited North Macedonia is for van life. A little bit more about North Macedonia with regards to the roads, tolls, how easy it is to get services. All of those practicalities. You know, what you can expect to, to pay for some things like food and fuel and what the supermarkets are like. But I think in short, we really enjoyed uh, North Macedonia. And I think it's one of those gems that's really well worth spending a lot more time in, in the future. I think the people were absolutely incredibly friendly. And it's also a place that I think we will return to in a different way, not necessarily with a motorhome, but to get an Airbnb and spend a lot more time there. From here, we are heading straight north into Kosovo. Well, that's the plan anyway. But if you want to follow us along on our journey, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can get the notifications when our videos are released. We are now uploading two videos a week for the next bit. And hopefully you'll join us. See you in Kosovo. <laughs> Bye. Welcome to Kosovo. Woohoo! Welcome to Kosovo. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Get it. Get it.